us. They're not above us. They ride around on top of these um, non-spiritual humans that are not connected to spirituality. They're something to them. They're nothing to us. That's Think about it. You got a little spiritual gift, a little mutated spiritual gift. You go around humans, everyday humans with no sense of spirituality. They're impressed. But then you come to us and we're at the top of the spiritual food chain. Key word, spiritual. We're at the top of the spiritual and natural also food chain. So how are you going to impress us when you got 44 states married children and I'm the one and our kingdom revealed it and your kingdom didn't? You see how we won right there, too? Well, you riding around with your kingdom, but we got you got 44 states on top of you, buddy. You got 44 states married children, buddy. So how is your kingdom able to compete with us? It wasn't revealed to you, was it? Well, you got all the psychic power in the world, all the telepathic power in the world, but we don't, you didn't know this, did you? <laughs> See how I win? You know everything, but you didn't know this, did you? You can read minds, but you didn't know this, did you? Yeah, see, I win, man. Stop playing with me, suckers. Suckers. Stop playing with me. You're talking about you a psychic telepath. You got 44 states married children, and you ain't even know it. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. You a psychic and telepath. A whole community of it. But 44 states is married children and you didn't know it. <laughs> you Cleo, man. You remember Cleo, that, that, that fake that fake bummer clock psychic lady that was scheming people out of money? That's they Cleo, man. Man, Cleo, stop playing games. That's why I'm start calling you psychics, Cleo. Because you ain't you ain't manifesting nothing, and you ain't even know this. 44 states married children. Cleo, please, please. Cleo. Cleo. Stop the foolishness. Because at the end of the day, you ain't manifested and you ain't able to see what's manifested. 44 states was manifested for how long? How long had this country been like this? And who revealed it? A Christian. Who revealed it? A Christian. Not no, no, not no psychics. Not no telepaths. You would think. You would think, right? They got the ability to see all of this and all of that, right? That's for the people that hired you. You would think that they would know this. How come they don't know? Because they're beneath our kingdom. That's why. And I proved it through this information. Well, they should have been able to reveal it to you. So how are they above us? How are you above us? And then it's another example why we're on top. Which explains everything else, which make should make you want to back up before you get smacked up. It should make it should it, it explains everything. Because if you think we're done with you, we're not. Oh, you think we're done with you, don't you? Uh, we ain't done with you yet. You're going to thoroughly understand that you don't play with God's kingdom. You're going to thoroughly understand this, even if you got to die. This is going to be understood. You respect gangsters. You, you basically down on your knees respecting gangsters. Probably kiss their feet if they, they told you to. And you think you're going to play with us? And they beneath us. You know what gangsters come to? Church. You don't see preachers going to the trap, do you? You see preachers going to the trap? But gangsters come to church. So then we outrank them, idiots. What all these thugs and killers got on their face and on their on their neck? Crosses. Jewelry. All these crosses. What does that mean? They're submitted to our kingdom, not your psychic kingdom, not your Illuminati kingdom, not your Freemason kingdom. They're submitted to our kingdom. 
Well, they got crosses. They wear crosses around their neck. And I'm not being disrespectful when I said this because I've said this before in the video. They wear, they they are submitted to uh, the kingdom of God. These crosses is an indication. See what you're playing with? You ain't even no killer. And the killers are wearing the crosses. The killers are putting the crosses on their face. The killers are putting the crosses on their back and their arms and everything like that. 21 Savage got a cross right in the front of his, in his in the middle of his forehead. And he called himself a savage. He submitted. That's a submission to our kingdom. Now, some people will say, you know, preachers, okay, but but it's but it's a human submission. Which means there's a human understanding of our of this kingdom. That's what I'm trying to tell these people. I'm trying to help them understand this kingdom. Because they these little suckers out here. There ain't no killers. I know there ain't no killers. They ain't nothing but practical jokers to me. You might as well be a part of punked and jackass. You might as well be. That's what category I put you in. You you jackass uh, crew members. And But that ain't gonna save your life now, is it? You shouldn't have been a jackass. <laughs> you shouldn't have been a jackass because ain't nobody playing no games. You got a million deaths plus here in America from COVID-19. You got mass shootings, monkeypox, people dying all the time, people killing their own kids. There are no games being played, just in case you thought they was. You're going to respect our kingdom or die. And I'm telling you, this is how it's going to go. And that's for black people. That's for white people. That's for Mexican and everything in between. You're going to respect God's kingdom or die. And if you say you won't, you won't, then you will die. And I have no problem. I have no problem with seeing you die. After all, you don't respect God's kingdom. If you don't respect God's kingdom, I don't, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. And see, another thing Americans are taught. See, religion separates us. Yeah. You know what else separates us? Jealousy, hate, player haters, busy bodies in other people's matters, suckers, fake people. People think they something they not. Wicked people, witches, and warlocks. That's what separates us also. People quick to say, oh, oh, the religious people, that's religion separates. Every, every, there's, you know how many other things separate us besides religion? Politics, you got Democrats and Republicans, boom, right there. Some would say politics separate us. Some would say the American government separates us. Well, you got to pick and choose who you're going to be with. And then you're separated. That part. What else? There's many things to separate us. Sexual orientation, that separates us. Well, if you're gay, you're probably not going to be accepted. Choosing, some people say it's not a choice, but everything's a choice. Everything's a choice. We're separated from sexuality to politics. But you want to blame religion for all of it. That's a seven. That's what you got to understand. Ain't no games being played. You think you got me jailed up, imprisoned up. It's all fairy tale. I'm here because I want to be here. Let's understand that. Understand me first. So you ain't got me anything, anywhere. I'm here because I want to be. First of all, that's first. Second of all, every day that I'm hearing you playing games, 
These people are cursed. Every day that you're, I'm here and you're playing psychological games around this building and inside the building, like I don't know any better, that's a curse to the whole country. I'm a prophet, by the way, not a nephew. <laughs> I'm not your nephew, buddy. <laughs> I'm not your nephew. Don't ever call me your nephew. I'm a prophet. And if you play with me, any it, it's all coming back worse. I promise you that. It's all coming back worse. All the psychological stuff they do, they even got an ice cream truck that goes by this place where I live. It's intentional. It's a psychological, what I call psychological pedophile entrapment operation. That's how sharp I am, buddy. That's my level. That's my level. Just so you know. But every day they do it, it's a curse to their community. And guess what that includes? The children. Oh, yeah. If you curse the, fa- if you curse the dad, you curse the child automatically. Well, what the child going to do? How they, even if you leave them alive, they're going to have to fend for themselves. Boom. But we got to get you, though. That's a fact, right? So that automatically hits your child. Well, if I got to get you, then guess what that means? Your kids won't be able to fend for themselves. Now, will they? And we it's a fact you got to go. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Ain't no games being played. So in the end, you are causing problems for your children. By playing with me, you are. They gonna be orphans. They gonna be orphans. We're not playing any games. This is the kingdom of God. This is not leather jacket wearing 1960 gang members. Remember back in the 60s, they had the knives and the, and the slick hair and the, and, the, and the high pants and the leather jackets. That's how they acted like we playing like this leather jacket time. Bruh, this ain't no gang fight. It's the kingdom. This is the, king, this is the kingdom of God. And when you play with us and you think that you're you think you're doing something, all look what all you're doing. Now I remind you for the audience that don't know, these people have been playing with me before COVID-19. So what would you suspect? If I told you they've been playing with me years before COVID-19, doing the same stuff, they ain't doing nothing different. They ain't doing nothing different. They are doing nothing different. Nothing. So what would you suspect when COVID came? That it was a repercussion for all this stuff that they're doing. They don't want to admit that. It's too shameful. It's too incriminating too. Because you brought it on everybody. That's a seven. It's shameful and incriminating to these Illuminati members in all their chapters all over the country, it's, it's, in, it's, it's, in, it's shameful, embarrassing, and incriminating and humiliating to admit that they played with a, one man and this COVID-19 came as a result to stop them from gang stalking. I know all this going on. I am not in the dark. I just move differently and I get the job done. I get the job done. You know, so that's something y'all got to realize. They've been playing games. They try to tell you, oh, this is new. This ain't new. They've been doing this for years. They deceiving you. <laughs> they told you it was new. They told you they just started doing this. Because they don't want you to they don't want you to realize 
that they're they already suffering for what they've done. Oh, better to say they already lost. They already lost. I beat them. I beat the Illuminati and the Freemasons and portions of the black community like they don't think I know. I beat all of them well over eight times. Eight times. The same stuff they're doing like this, right? Up and down the street, all around, everywhere you go, right? See, some of y'all going through that. I beat them eight times with a pure conscience. Because what they try to do is to make you feel like you're a pedophile. They try to make you to put pedof- they try to put pedophile images in your mind. It doesn't work with me because <laughs> quite frankly, I'm just too grown. I'm I'm just too sexually mature. It's like it's not gonna happen, buddy. I have no fantasies of being with children at all. At all, buddy. I promise you that, Jack. That, that's that's what I'm saying. That's another thing. That is just that's the worst. Sexuality is my strong suit. I guess they didn't know that, did they? Well, I have no problem with telling people I used to be a prostitute. So if I used to be a prostitute, most prostitutes, if you know, um, are very pure towards children. The ones, yeah, because they have to separate their lifestyle from children. So they're constantly doing this, constantly moving here, constantly moving there, constantly making sure that they're being discretional or or discreet, if you will, keeping their lifestyle away from the eyes of children. So prostitutes in actuality, ironically, are some of the most pure people towards children because they have to constantly separate their life from children. That's why y'all don't under anytime somebody I see somebody separating from children, that's probably been a person that's been a prostitute. That's a seven. Because your life is too adult. It's too mature. And then you after a while, you don't even want to be around no children. Why would you? Adult life is best anyway. I never wanted to go back to being a child with no independence. The adult life is the best life. That's what some of you Americans need to realize too. Is that <laughs> you ain't anywhere. They they need to understand. Stop trying to be a child. Stop wearing your hair like a child. These women walk around here wearing pigtails. <laughs> pigtails. Because they didn't grow up. They 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 think it's they think they 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 treasure being um they treasure being a a a child more than anything. They treasure that. They don't want to be an adult. It, it, it doesn't appeal to these Americans. When I was a kid, we couldn't wait to grow up. We couldn't wait to grow up. We couldn't wait to look more adult. They go every this generation, and it's not a certain age. They can't wait to go. They they want to re, re, uh, go backwards and reverse into childhood, wearing all kind of cartoon stuff and everything. Back in the 90s, we couldn't wait. Girls was wearing lipstick. They couldn't wait to wear lipstick. They couldn't wear the, wait to wait, uh, wear makeup and put on heels and real clothes, real, real women clothes. Women these days, they, they want to live in a childlike world. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And it's I'm going to do a video on it. My next video is going to be on this. Is the, America's a fact, America's fascination with children and childhood they are fascinated with it well if you got 44 states married children you're fascinated with it you're fascinated with children if you're marrying them in 44 states 
Is it safe to say they're fascinated? I would think so. Always watching all this anime stuff, all these cartoons and stuff. You're fascinated with children. I'm not fascinated with children. I'm fascinated with intelligent men and women that are intelligent, that can tell me something that I don't know, like I'm doing you. That's what I'm fascinated with. You fascinated with children. Well, you got 44 states married children. <laughs> There's a, there, that's, a, that's a fascination. That's, I'm going to do a video on it. Well, let me tell you this. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say this and be done with it. Realize that the American community, it, it has to fall in order for there to be a new world government. A one world government, a new world order. It, that has to, the, America has to give up its sovereignty because it's not going to lay down and just die and give it up. So that should really make you say, well, then what's going to happen? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bad things that you're not, half of y'all not even ready for. In order for this to actually come to nothing, basically, come to come to nothingness, for it to come to nothingness, it's going to take a lot of detrimental things happening to this country. So, just get ready because ain't no way in the world they gonna survive. See, they see these little super, stupid little uh, Illuminati members, Freemasons. And they gather themselves against God. People thinking this is the solution. I'm sorry to tell you. Your country has to fall regardless. According to prophecy, your country has to fall. There's a prophecy that there will be a one world government. There will be basically um, a new world order, uh, antichrist. And he will rule over the whole world. Okay. Um, that means you have to fall. I'm sorry to tell you. And if and, and, and you go ask somebody, you don't know, go ask. So if that has to happen, then how America is going to be over here in the one world government over here? How the Antichrist is going to be over here and you're going to have an American president over there? It's not going to happen like that. It's not going to happen like that. This Antichrist character supposed to rule over the entire world. So how that's going to happen in America's over here, the world police, but you got the Antichrist, but America's the world police. That's a seven. <laughs> yeah, America's the world police. That's why they're in the Ukraine and Russian war right now. Boom, seven. Yeah, it's another, it's another example of you playing the world police, like everybody say. You in the Russian and Ukraine war, that's another example of them presently, present day, 2022, September, playing world police. And you think the Antichrist is going to coexist with America being the world police? Come on now. Make it make sense now. Make it make sense. So that means that this country is going to lose its power and sovereignty and it's nothing your efforts can do about it. It's just one way or the other, basically. It's just one way or the other. God punishes you and destroys you as a community for what you did against his Christians, against his people, what you did against Christians like me. Or you get destroyed because the new world order has to come and the Antichrist come. It's no way around it. It's no way around this, man. I'm trying to tell you. So that's just, that's just for people that that's riding around thinking you're doing something. You're doing nothing. Because at the end of the day, this all has to fall. It has to. 
Okay, I'll tell any president that I'll tell any scientist, I'll tell any beautiful woman. I'm not intimidated. I don't I'm not ashamed of this information. I am spiritual. People that are ashamed of uh, God, they serve religion. It's just spiritual. It's, It's spiritual. Why should I be ashamed of it? Because they see Americans have this image of what a servant of God is to them. Now you see what one really is. I'm spiritual. I'm an authority. Why should I be ashamed of being an authority? Kicking butt all around the place. Why should I be ashamed of that? Huh? (laughs) Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. That part. I'm I'm just sorry to tell you. You didn't do right by God's people. And it proved fatal to you. I know you thought you just go on as business as usual. Not this time. Not this time, buddy. You struck the wrong chord in the kingdom of God. And there are no cares being given for you and your children. There are no cares. I'm just, that's just, I'm going by what I see. The kingdom of God is not acknowledging you or your family you're just dying you're all dying so you know that's where that sucker stuff gets you you know I think a lot of this is premature judgments premature wrath from the Lord that didn't have to happen this didn't have to happen but these people want to be bad they want to be Michael Jackson (laughs) They want to be on a reboot uh, bad video or, or, or beat it video. <laughs> they want to be on a reboot beat it, beat it video. <laughs> want to be a gang member, man. Hey, I'm telling you something, man. Beefing with God's kingdom is nothing you want to do, buddy. That's a death sentence. You might as well pick up a gun. You playing, it's a, it's a form of, of Russian roulette. And guess what? It's a form of Russian roulette and, and the, all the chambers of the gun is filled. <laughs> so how you you ain't going to make it. You can't play with us, man. You thought you was playing with religion. You're playing with spirituality. I am high, as, I am high ranking like Dr. Buzzard. I am high ranking like Marie Laveau. The people that practice voodoo, I am just as high as ranking as they are. That's what you're playing with. And I manifest. I manifest and you die. And I'm a Christian. I'm a real Christian. We're on the spiritual, we're in the spiritual world. Okay? And I rank very high. In this, in this spiritual world, whether you acknowledge it or not, as an American, I don't care if you acknowledge it. You know what I want you to acknowledge? 44 states married children. That's what I want you to acknowledge. That's your defeat right there. That proves who how high ranking I am right there. Well, none of your community revealed it, did they? Did any of these people reveal it? Did any any of these people tell you? Any of these psychics? Any of these, any of these preachers? Any of these religious people? Did they tell you this? They did not, did they? That's what I'm saying. That's the difference between me and you. I'm revealing stuff that's real in reality and that makes sense and that's comprehend and, 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 and people the things that people can comprehend. And you're talking about foolishness. Half of these people that claim to be religious are Christians. They're talking about foolishness. I'm telling you, 44 states is married children. That's how high ranking I am. I am down to earth, in tune with God. And you know how? Because I'm talking about real, real stuff that you didn't even know. Now, oh, this is how you know. It's real stuff and you didn't know it. That's how you know I'm in tune with God. Well, you didn't know. 
Only God knows some things, right? And he revealed it. He led me to it. I definitely would say that. He led me to it. We want you to realize, buddy, you ain't nothing compared over here. You want to go, you want to play games? You play with games out there with them, them hoodlums. Yeah, you play games with hoodlums. You come here, we'll wash you, your auntie, your uncles, your nephews, and everything up. We'll wash everything up. This is worse than voodoo. This is worse than voodoo. I try to tell y'all that. This is worse than voodoo. Well, voodoo hasn't done nothing, has it? Huh? Can voodoo put a whole COVID-19 curse on your country? Have voodoo ever did that? If they were capable of doing it, they would have been done it. They would have been done it. How come they can't? They they will never rank that high to do that. They're beneath us. You are cursed with COVID-19 because of your secret societies, gang stalking, me and Christians. This is why you got it. They shouldn't have, they shouldn't have played with us. This is worse than voodoo, you fools. You're more scared of voodoo than us. Because you think we're supposed to be nice to you. You think we want to help you find the Lord. Not all the time. <laughs> Not all the time. You think we want to help you get saved, don't you? Not this time. Re- what well, Revelation 22, 11 say, let the clean stay clean. Let the filthy stay filthy. Well, that means I ain't trying to get you saved. 